and welcome back. Don't you just love the ocean? Hmm? Ah, wonderful. So, last time we got ourselves the laser cutter right here. And now we're pretty much set for going to the uh, Aurora. Let me just see here. I'm not going to need all of this, am I? Let's just store these. And, uh, oh yeah. We did want to get these fins, didn't we? We need lithium. Now, if I recall correctly, the lithium came from shale outcrops. So, we're going to go get ourselves some lithium. And we have another radio signal, so we've been skimping out on those. We'll have to see what the fuss is about. We probably have other life pods to check out. I'm assuming, I mean, couldn't have been just those three that we checked out that made it, right? So we'll see. And, uh, sorry. We need to find some shale outcrops, and there's one. Does this... Hey! Hey! Mm. No, that was gold. Yeah, because um, not having the fins isn't helping us, is it? Yeah. So this has nothing. Ow. Sorry. I get a feeling those sharky looking things aren't going to be our friends. Um, let's see. So, um, we need lithium to make those ultra glide fins. Those are going to be immensely useful. Well, I say immensely, I mean, we're going to be faster. That's always good. Let's see. Be lithium? Yes. Hey! Not again. You know what? Come here. Bone shark. Yeah, let's go. There's another thing we are going to want to make to find our base more easily. Well, we know where the base is, but, you know. Hey, 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 hey. Well, good thing we didn't make our base over there. Anyway, here's our base. It's modest, but, you know, it's home. Let's, um... Repair the Seamoth real quick. And enter the base. Welcome aboard, so now we have all of the materials to make this, the Ultra Glide fins. Hell yeah! There we go. Streamlined construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. There we go. How much of a difference is this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm feeling this. Oh, I am feeling this. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh. Do we have food? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Okay, awesome. And uh, some of this, please. Yeah. One, two, three. There we go. Awesome. Right, so. Uh, yeah, we. We're good here. 
it's getting late. Relatively speaking. Okay, before we go to the Aurora, we're pretty much set. We have everything we need. Um, because it's heavily radiated due to the explosion, we'll be taking the radiation helmet instead of the rebreather. No use carrying this a lot around with us. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Tools for days. What's this all about? I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod. Thirteen coordinates attached. Coordinates attached. Pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kasa. I said Kasa. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Aerial detail. Location uploaded to PDA. <sighs> I mean, it's it's right there. Huh, almost on purpose. It's right there. Hmm. Um, maybe we should. But I mean, it asked for a burial detail, so it's not like we're going to find a living person there. We might as well. We've never been this far, have we? No, sir, we have not. Okay. Well then, let's... Um... Oh, this is ominous. This is very ominous. Oh, this is... Ah! Sorry. This is a uh, interesting area. Enter the mushroom forest biome. Oh, 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 oh. hi. Passing 100 meters. I saw you. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Aha! New blueprint acquired. The power transmitter helps carry... The biomass in this area is dominated by plant life. Picking up faint or terror vehicle signatures. Vehicle signatures. Oh. Okay. We're going to have to pay attention then. Vehicle signatures. I wonder what that means. I mean, I know what that means. You know what I mean. Or do you? Um... Yeah, I'm not feeling... very safe here. Oh! Hello. So... Mr. Yogi Kaza, what's this all about? Well, I guess. Well, I guess the burial detail thing was correct. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh, lithium. Let's um, let's see this PDA then. So, data bank, data downloads, survivors. Live pod launch sequence initiated. Mm -hmm. Entering planetary atmosphere. My creators, the cherishers and sustainers of worlds, give me this day my daily pleasures as I give to those who seek pleasures from me. External temperature approaching critical levels. Yikes. Show me the path in life, truth, and love for mine is the power. I am the one. On and off and on again. Impact imminent. Life is a game which the universe plays with itself. I am done playing as this bundle of flesh. Return me. Okay. So. 
I guess we can all figure the fate of Mr. Yaki Kata. Um, I'm curious about those vehicle signatures. I mean, all the help we can get, right? And there's something right here. Moonpool fragment. Awesome. Oh man, we need another one. Mm. The moon pool is basically... Well, it's what it says. It's, it works as a garage for our Seamoth and our future mech vehicle. Aha. Let's uh, look around for a little bit, shall we? Oh, no, that's an egg. No, no, no. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. Yikes. Um. Hmm. It's hard to point out what's a fragment, what's not here. It's either very abstract and easy to see, or it blends with the vegetation on the floor. So, oh, and then there's Poppin. <laughs> Thanks, game. Ah, a Cyclops whole fragment. So one down, and how many? Okay, two to go. That's just the hole. I'm guessing we need a lot more. And we still have to find the prawn suit, but... Welcome all in due Captain. time. That's, uh... No, that's actually useful. Yep, lithium. And it's night now, so... Heebie-jeebies ensue. <laughs> okay. Hello. Caves. This all lo looks very samey. Can imagine um, getting lost here fairly easily. Oh, hello. This is a moon pool fragment. Awesome. Yes. We can now customize our sea moth. Another hull fragment, and this looks like a steering wheel. So, yeah, bridge. We're on the right track here. I mean, we shouldn't exactly be looking for... Uh, we shouldn't... We don't have to be looking for this just yet. But, you know what, as long as we're here, I think this covers the hull, right? Yeah. So, let's just take a quick look around here, see if we find anything else. And I, I don't know, I'm starting to wonder whether we should build a moon pool or Go straight for the Aurora. Two lads, two titanium ingots. We have that. We don't have the lubricant. So, on the top right of the screen is the blueprint for the moon pool. And this 
uh, is only possible through a mod called Blueprint Tracker that I've installed as well. So one of those quality of life improvements that I, I'm so fond of. Just makes your life easier knowing what the recipe is and having it on your screen. Don't have to... Uh, no need to open the PDA constantly, bro. Oh, is this for the hull? Or... Bridge. Nice. Okay. Are we getting the whole blueprint in one go? Oh. We have another... Maybe we will. Haha. -ha. Nice. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, hi. Hello. Two thirds. Hull. Bridge. <sighs> okay, I get it. So we need to find three more chunks of something. Hull. Bridge. Mm. Off the top of my head, I can only imagine the engine. Yeah, that's probably it. Okay, so this is good already. Another thing we should be making. I want it to pin on the screen as well. Is... Where are you? Come on, come on, come on. Um, this beacon beacons are fairly inexpensive to make but they're very very useful like we know our base because of the life pod 3 blip we know the base is somewhere around here or at least this way ish but um when you have a beacon like these things they work just the same uh, and beacons will make your life a lot easier things show up in your hud passing 200 meters yes i'm aware oxygen efficiency what's this all about hello yeah hello oh. just a uh, small cave with lots of goodies well, I mean, I say lots, but... <laughs> yeah, no. Okay, back to the Seamoth. And it's turning daytime. Awesome. Let's just uh, keep going. So, one trip. No dead body. Ah, moon pool. One trip, no dead body, and um one pool as well. Two blueprints added to our list. Awesome. Now we can make the moon pool and we can make beacons. We I we already could make the beacon. been able to make it for a long time now. My sea moth is going to hate me for dragging it along this area. But okay, so far so good. Despite the creep factor of the <laughs> reef bags and other creatures that surround us. It's been fairly smooth sailing, which is um, also worrying in a way because if, like, if nothing's biting my face for a long time, I'm uh, going to assume I'm nowhere near the danger yet. So we'll have to. 
Yeah, yeah. We'll have to keep that in mind as we move forward. And our base is right here. Okay, so... <clears throat> how are we going to do this? We need to make the moon pool, and the moon pool requires the vehicle to enter it from below. So, if the moon pool were here somewhere, it would just, you know, pop up like so. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we ditch this. Right here. Welcome aboard, Captain. And we make an extension to. Yeah, we make an extension between this room and the moon pool with a T section, followed by another pipe thing, another compartment, like uh, like so, with uh, one of these one of these we'll see okay first of all uh, deployables one beacon please thank you for the record we are going to make two of these because beacons are awesome there we go and we are going to remove this with, yeah, deconstruct that, leave here, deconstruct the, uh, damn it, these plant pots, mm -mm, that sucks, okay, we can make composite plant pots anyway so let's make them here like so one two so basically one metal salvage worth of uh, plant pots take that take this yeah okay like so Minor setback, let's um, eat this, okay, and uh, yeah, eat this, and we can now deconstruct these, wish I didn't have to, you know, restart this, but okay, fair enough. And now, yeah, okay, we need a T-section, so, like so, and then, okay, yeah, uh, this works, so a hatch goes right here. Yep, and let's see my out of the way. Sorry. Okay, now go oh, with this. Do we not have the. Hmm. Okay, sure. We don't have... Mm. Okay. If I pop here very quickly... Lubricant is made with the pods. So... You know what? Mm -mm. Mm. That's three. Sure. Get back real quick.
and because we have easy craft installed we can just um, keep going there we go okay so yeah I thought this was going to happen um, do I need to make a yes I do oh uh, do... <laughs> like um, this after weeks <sighs> without human contact it is normal to experience psychological discomfort research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate <sighs> so let's yeah. Let's fix thi fix this mess. How integrity restored. Training systems initiated. And this is what you get for adding more parts than the structural integrity of your base allows for. So, in theory, this should be draining not filling up. Excuse me. I do not see any more damage. Is this still filling up? I'm getting the feeling it is. And I don't know why. Maybe it's bugged out? It's still filling up. I can see it. Or maybe... Maybe it isn't. Okay. So. Another of these. And there you go. Um, let's... you know what? Fine. Yeah, the... Um, oh well, the uh, observatory is... Um, isn't helping. Hull integrity restored. Draining systems initiated. Are they? Base? Hmm? Are they really? Because I don't see it. Let's, um, take these windows off as well. We'll be able to make ourselves a um, more agreeable area later. Well, I mean, I just well keep this one. Sure. Yeah. Just, you know, so it doesn't feel like a metal coffin in the bottom of the sea. Okay, so <clears throat> exterior models, interior models this one needs to be back and we are keeping this right here there we go and um what else did we need well oh yeah uh so first things first get this off and we have something that goes with our moon pool, which is a vehicle upgrade console, one titanium computer chip, copper wire. Do we have enough materials? I wonder. So we'll see. So we already have that console over there. Can we build this? Uh, 
So, computer chip. Yeah, it only accounted for the titanium. So that means we need to make a computer chip and copper wire. Okay. Computer chip. Are we out of... We are. We are out of copper. Mm -mm. No bueno. No sir. We can, however, just to simplify our lives a bit, we can make an exterior row bed in which or on which we will make, not make, grow, um, we will grow these. Strategy. Craig McGill survived 47 months on a healthy, raw salad of live tree roaches and stag root. Ew. Okay, so we have a moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. We let's park our sea moth within. There we go. And from here we can repair it as well. Now, we already have this console here. Yeah, move it this way. And uh, there's not much for us to do here. We can access the upgrades for it. But then again, the panel is right here as well. So, this isn't very useful to us. The one we want to make, the vehicle upgrade console. Now that we want. So, we are going to go pick some things up. Can we? Yeah, this doesn't have what we need. Let's take a small stroll around here. Yeah. Titanium. There's another one. Copper. That's good enough, actually. But not for the... Um, not for the computer chip. Come on. Two more. And then we can head back. It's gonna be fairly easy. Copper isn't that hard to find. Nope. And there we go. See? Easy. Now, if I recall correctly, do we have table coral? I thought we did. We probably do not. Nope. Fair enough. And also easy. Although, eh. I think, uh, no, table coral, table coral, mm. we may have to look for that one actually, <sighs> I 
And I already forgot we had the, um, the, the beacon. Dope. So let's, um, take care of that, shall we? Beacon! Right, uh, right around here. Oop. There we go. And it's installed. And, um, you can edit its name, so... Home base. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds. go fully charged awesome now um, at this point I think we can make this module yep there we go can already remove it from the list. Ha ha! Okay, and a fabricator exclusively for creating modules. And wouldn't you know it? Hmm. Storage model. These are the ones we're looking for. Now, the sonar works, it's um, fairly interesting, but the one we really could use is the solar charger, actually. And of course, the depth module. So, for now, for now we'll keep, we'll stay with what we have, which is nothing. And, um, okay, what am I going to name this? <sighs> you know what? I'm sure that there might be a better name, but I'm thinking Icarus. The boy who flew too close to the sun. And got, it, got bit in the face. <laughs> no, no he didn't. Um, interior... Like so, and stripe. You know what? We're making it highly visible to ourselves, but on second thought, we may need to reconsider that. So let's make him seek fluid intake immediately. Yeah, yeah, I know. I like it. So, there we go. Now, water, 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 water. Um, do we... That plant's still growing, so... 
Excuse me. Did anyone see a bladder fish? swim for the surface, but it's 500 meters straight up. We'll make for the rendezvous and keep you posted. Out. Excuse me. Signal location uploaded to PDA. It's right there. Sunk 500 meters. So 300 more than our Seamoth can go. We're not. Wait a second. What was her name? CTOU. Um, I remember you. Survivors. Voice. Rendezvous voice log. Ah! Knew it. So. What I'm gathering is that her life pod fell. She managed to escape it, then reached all the way over there, somewhere. Rendezvoused with Officer Keen, and then they tried to board the Aurora. And then... Death. Um, gonna be honest, this doesn't sound very promising. But you know what? We were ready before this episode started, and we are even more ready as it ends. Next time we will absolutely be boarding the Aurora. We need to do something about it. And uh, I'm guessing the key to leaving this planet is somewhere there. So. Um, yeah, we're staying right here. Ah. See you next time.